Good morning. Today we're going to do the last topic of this module, which is mass and weight. This topic will help you understand the relationship between mass, gravitational acceleration, and weight. It actually it introduces you to the second law of Newton. At N3, you are going to do the whole set of the three laws. Okay, so this is just a foretaste of the second law. What are we going to learn? And on completion of this module, you must be able to define mass, be able to define weight. You must indicate the difference between mass and weight, and this is very important. You need to be able to convert mass to weight and convert weight to mass. You must be able to classify uh, mass as a scalar quantity and vector and weight as a vector quantity. This topic is based on this equation, which is the second equation that we have on the formula sheet, F is M times G, where F is the weight, which is the gravitational force, and M is the mass of the object, and G is the gravitational acceleration. Now, the gravitational acceleration for planet F is the constant value of 9.8 meters per second squared. So constant values are given on the form, on the on the question paper. If it's given as 9.8, you use 9.8. Now those of you that did physics in school, you will know that in school they used 10. Now if they give 10 on the question paper, you use 10. If they give 9.8, you use 9.8. So it depends. Just check what they give. Uh, how do we define weight? So weight is what is denoted by the capital letter F in that equation. F is mg. So F refers to weight. If they say calculate weight, you calculate the F. Weight is the force with which the F attracts an object. Now we know that all objects are attracted towards the center of the F by this very force. So this force is called the weight or the gravitational force. It is the force with which the Earth attracts an object. And how is it measured? Force is measured in Newtons. The Newtons is the capital, you just use the capital letter N when you do calculations. So you put in the magnitude and capital letter N to show the SI unit. So it's in Newtons. And how do we define a Newton? Now the specific definition is not on the notes that I printed for you. You're going to have to add it on those notes. A Newton is the force that will give a body with a mass of 1 kilogram an acceleration of 1 meter per second squared. That is the Newton. It's the force that will give a body with a mass of 1 kilogram an acceleration of 1 meter per second squared. That is how you define a Newton. You must not say a Newton is the SI unit for, for, for a force. You will not get any marks if you say that. This is the proper definition. A Newton is the force that will give a body with a, a, with a mass of one kilogram an acceleration of one meter per second square. And what is the mass? Now, mass is denoted by the symbol, small letter M. Mass is the quantity of matter a body contains. So, matter basically shows you how much matter a body contains. It shows the quantity or the amount of matter a body contains. That is mass. Okay. And the mass is measured in kilograms. So the kilogram of mass is not the same as the kilometer of length, where you have to change the kilometer to meters. Mass must always be in kilograms. If they give it in megagrams, you change it to kilograms. If they give it in grams, you change it to kilograms. So the SI unit for mass is kilograms. You don't convert that kilo as you do for a kilometer. Okay. And the G is the gravitational acceleration that is experienced by free falling bodies. So they will all accelerate at that rate of 9.8 meters per second squared. Okay. Now let's look at the